of Fresh Baked as part of what will become our ongoing effort to keep you as up to date as possible as we approach a uh, touch of Disney and then the reopening of Disneyland. We've got an update for you. Uh, we're going to have a few of these, I assume, as, as we learn more information, as we learn things, we observe things that are happening in the parks. And uh, yesterday, we saw news of something that very interesting happening at the Esplanade, something that I wasn't expecting, uh, but <laughs> I guess, I don't know, some of you are going to be a little bit upset about this, I suppose. Um, it looks like they, are, they have closed off access to the Esplanade from downtown Disney for the most part, sort of. Uh, these images are from Paul's Theme Park Adventures, and you can see that he's observed that they set up barricades that run the width of, uh, of, the, of the Esplanade, starting from the tram path all the way over to the border uh, of, of downtown Disney as it approaches like La Brea, uh, the La Brea restaurant, La Brea Bakery. Now what it looks like these barricades are doing is they're trying to funnel guests into one specific, one single point of entry and exit. Uh, into the Esplanade or out of the Esplanade, rather than you know giving guests the, the full expanse, the full width of the Esplanade to to enter from. Now I kind of alluded to this in uh, yesterday's video about uh, how what, what Disney's trying to do is prevent mixing of, of guests, prevent mixing from downtown Disney guests and touch of Disney guests. This isn't meant to you know I guess <laughs> prevent anybody from enjoying the Esplanade, and that's why I hedge when I say. They're, they're limiting your ability to get into the Esplanade. They're not preventing you. You can still get in there. What they're really trying to do, and because a lot of people are panicking about this, as I've seen in some of the Instagram comments, etc. What they're really trying to do is prevent those two guests from mixing together. They want to create one set of guests that are trying to go into downtown Disney and one set of guests that are trying to go into touch of Disney. Uh, and the best way to do that is to limit their access to the Esplanade. So, for example, if, you're, if, you, if you are going to Touch of Disney, we mentioned in yesterday's video, you're going to walk down the tram path and they're going to keep you on that side of the barricades. I don't know if that's going to make any sense with what my arm is doing right now, but you, okay, so this is the barricade, that's the Esplanade, this is downtown Disney. You're going to be, <laughs> you're going to be on that side of my arm as you try to enter uh, Touch of Disney or DCA. Uh, but if you don't, then you're coming from Simba Lot or something like that. That you're, you're, you're visible pretty much end at La Brea Bakery, though, as I mentioned, you can still go into the Esplanade. It's not as bad as it looks. Now, you might be asking, well, does that, what does that mean for people who want to walk in, for example, from Harbor Boulevard, either to downtown Disney or to Touch of Disney? Well, the answer is it's the same. You can still walk in from Harbor Boulevard. You can still, you know, take, have somebody drop you off the drop off. You can still park at Garden Walk or at the Anaheim Hotel and walk it in from there, and you can still enter uh, from the Harbor entrance. There will just be CMs there will say, okay, so now from here, go this way and then go through that little entrance if you're trying to go to downtown Disney or go this way, turn left if you're trying to go into Touch of Disney if you have a ticket. Uh, you still, as best as I can tell from sources at the scene, the people who are talking about being there, uh, you can still get into the Esplanade from either direction and you can still take a picture in front of the, you know, the entrance to Disneyland or in front of uh, DCA or something like that. I'm assuming though that they're probably not going to let you you know, loiter and kind of linger and mill around, although there's really not much to do there anyway besides take a picture, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Uh, but as far as I know, they're still letting, you know, uh, downtown Disney guests go in there, perhaps on their way or coming back or something to that effect. Um, it's not as bad as it sounds. <laughs> it's not, But it is a thing that you have to kind of be aware of and know what, what it is that they're trying to do. And like I mentioned, that is keep the downtown Disney guests from mixing with the touch of Disney guests. Now, in spite of this seeming like bad news, this is actually a really, really good sign. A good, it's good news in the sense that we are, that's how close we are to crossing the finish line on this thing. That means Disney is fully engaged, they're fully committed. It's no longer possibilities or, you know, they're thinking about it or anything like that. They have a plan and they're executing that plan. That, that plan is that Disneyland and California Adventure are now the stars of the show. Downtown Disney is no longer the, the only attraction, the only event in town. Matter of fact, this you know Downtown Disney is going to go back to being Downtown Disney again. DCA and Disneyland are going to be the star. We're just four weeks, uh, a little more, four weeks. Uh, once once uh, once the event starts, once Touch of Disney starts on Thursday proper, you've probably seen a few videos already of the cast member preview. Uh, but once that event starts, and it's going to go for a month until April nineteenth. 
It's going to be a short week or so after that. They have to, what they have to take down Touch of Disney before they can reopen the park, and that's going to take a few days. Uh, and then after that, they're going to get, you know, they're still working on cast getting ramped up. My expectation is like a week after uh, Touch of Disney, we will have an opening date, or well, Disneyland will be open again. As for the opening date, still don't know. Uh, it's going to be a minute before we find any updates or hear anything from Disney on that, so stay patient on that one. My guess is that we're going to find out right around the 1st of April when, when and how we can uh, reserve a spot for Disneyland. Just be ready for that because it's probably going to be competitive, as you might have guessed, considering how competitive it was for Touch of Disney. And even better news, it also sounds like we may actually be in the orange tier when the park finally opens. As a matter of fact, from, from what I'm reading or the, the, some of the updates I've been getting, it sounds like we're already there statistically. Or, uh, Orange County has reached orange tier levels for all the metrics. Uh, if you factor in the, you know, the vaccination equity thing that they're doing now that helps to lower the, the actual number, <sighs> words, theories, things like that. What I'm, what I'm understanding is that we have achieved orange status or orange levels already as of today but we don't actually officially become orange tier you have to be in a tier for two weeks i.e the red tier before you can graduate to the next tier uh, but by the time the park opens we should be in the orange tier and that means eight thousand more guests per day and that means more indoor dining and more indoor rides well we're, we're going to get the indoor rides anyway but greater capacity uh, for indoor dining. And that goes for the rest of the state as, or the rest of the county as well. If you're looking to go, you know, have dinner somewhere or go to the movies, gosh, imagine, there's gonna be movies coming to, <laughs> okay, tangent, uh, we could go to the movies again. I didn't think I was gonna be excited about that, but I actually, I feel like I am. I've kind of gotten used to streaming stuff, but I am looking forward to having that experience again, just like going to Disneyland, it's an experience, it's an event, it's something fun to do. Uh, just like going out to dinner. Again, I'm on a tangent. Looks like, sounds like, orange tier is very much within the realm of possibility by the time uh, the parks open again. And that's it, guys. That's our quick update for today. Stand by. We're going to do more of these, hopefully, as information comes up. I want to try to do these as quickly as possible. Uh, otherwise, stay tuned to Fresh Baked. We've got another video tomorrow coming out from our last visit to Downtown Disney before they close it to, you know, for, for you know, public access or whatever. Uh, we got one more video coming for that, and then Touch of Disney from Fresh Baked will be there on Thursday. Hope you guys can join us. We're going to live stream. We normally do a live stream on Thursdays. We're going to be doing that live stream from Touch of Disney, plus, you know, a bunch of videos to come as well. I don't know how many videos we're going to get out of that. Two or three, maybe. Who knows? Hopefully. Uh, so stay tuned to that from Fresh Baked, and I uh, hope you join us. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. We love you very much. Stay safe out there. Be kind to one another. And Fresh Baked.